Hey, how's everybody doing? We're bringing you the first race video of the year. I talked about this in my Motivation Monday video. Uh, this is the race that did not go as well as I'd hoped it would go. So, uh, here at the beginning of the race, as you guys can see, I'm just kind of getting ready, talking with my teammate Rick there to the right. Uh, the course is pretty simple. Uh, there's a few corners. None of them are too, too difficult. Nothing particularly too tight here. Uh, everybody's getting ready. You can see by the flags in the background on this front straight we have a pretty decent tailwind but on the back half of the course the headwind is brutal. Uh, as soon as we turn this first corner up here off the straightaway you'll be able to see kind of the whole peloton slows down and we really hit that headwind strong and it just carries throughout the entire course until you get back onto that front straight. Uh, these are two other guys I know in the race, and uh, we're going to get started here. So this race was pretty interesting. Right from the start, the real young guys wa just wanted to go. They wanted to go as fast as they could, uh, which was, I guess, not surprising because it's the first crit of the year. But, you know, a lot of us just really wanted to take it easy for a lap or two, you know, get feel everything out. Uh, so right here when we turn this first corner is when we start to hit the headwind. You'll kind of see people start to tuck in. I didn't do the best job towards the beginning of this race getting tucked in and, and getting behind my teammate here. Uh, but uh, like I said, I was still shaking out the cobwebs. This is only the third time I rode outside since the beginning of the season. So j again, just getting everything figured out. Uh, me and this 590 here end up staying through most of the race together. Now, this guy right here on the right, uh, he's coming up here on the right-hand side pretty quickly. There was a com some confusion in our race. This guy's actually a Cat 1. Our race started about an hour late, and this guy's race was supposed to start at the time that we started. So he just hopped in thinking that this was his race. And you can kind of see him start to take off towards the front. He really amps up the pace of the race. Uh, none of us are really ready for it. Uh, just starts to kind of blow everybody up. Now, I'm one of those guys who just likes to get in the move if I think that move is the right move. So you'll kind of see me start to move up towards the right here. And uh, here we're getting up to the back of uh, the Cat 1 again right here. Now... After I talked to him, uh, after the race and, and everything, we were cool. Uh, it was just a huge misunderstanding, and a lot of it was more on the race organizers and the officials. But like I said in my Motivation Monday video, I'm over it. You know, it's not really that big of a deal. It was just upsetting at the time because I had a lot of confidence. And, you know, when something tears down your confidence, it makes you not want to admit that you were wrong or admit that maybe I'm not as strong as I thought I was going into this race. Um, but you can see there's probably about five or six guys in front of me here. The pace is still relatively a little higher than normal, but nothing too crazy. Uh, we're just kind of sitting pretty here. This is the back half. We're going to be turning onto the front straight here in a minute. And... Uh, I'll stick with this Allvoy guy for a while here. Uh, my left here is uh, the Velosport guy that I end up sticking through most of the race with. So when we come onto this front straight, uh, everybody starts to take off, of course, because we have the huge, huge tailwind. And uh, I just try and tuck in, get, get uh, some draft where I can. Again, not doing the greatest job. Uh, because I'm still getting used to everything again. These two guys up front take off, and the rest of the group starts to chase them. And me being the super anxious racer that I am, I decide that I want to chase as well. Uh, you can actually see this course is particularly bumpy. The roads are, are real bad here. Uh, this was the first time I ever raced on this course. I'd never been here before, so I was still getting acclimated as well. We uh so me and this Velosport guy we we start to catch up to the front two guys, and uh, we're holding a pretty good pace. And this is my teammate here up front. He's coming to do some work for me, um, and I see him go. So 
I wanted to see if I could let him go, but a couple more guys chase, and so I chased back on. Uh, we kind of settle down here as we get to the headwind, uh, which is great because at this point I'm pretty roasted. Uh, chasing up to this front group was a lot of work, especially towards the end when we started to hit the headwind. So I, again, I'm just trying to tuck in here. Uh, try to let this guy in. He doesn't really take the wheel. And then here goes the cat one. And then these two guys that come off the right-hand side, I believe, were also cat ones. Uh, they also thought that this was their race. And as you can see, the entire group sprints up to speed. I think on this back straight here into the wind, we were doing something crazy like, uh, I don't even know, high 20s, which is madness in a giant headwind like we were in. Uh, so I just tuck in here behind my teammate Rick, and I'm basically along for the ride at this point. Uh, my legs are, are screaming a little bit. I was having trouble breathing through my nose. As you can kind of hear in this commentary, I'm sniffling a little bit. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I'm just tucked in here trying to trying to stay with the group because I figure if I can stay with this group, then maybe I can have a chance in the field sprint. And you'll just see that guy take off on the right-hand side. A couple more guys take off. Rick is here on the left-hand side. I think both of us had the same kind of idea. I was going to let him go, and he wanted to let me go, but I just I really didn't have it in me at that point. So he kind of pushes me here, and I'm like, no, 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 you go. You, you, you know, he's got better legs than I do at this point in the race, even though he had already done a previous race today. Uh, so he goes, I kind of sit up, not going to do any more work, and figure this guy might pull me. And then, again, I believe that's a Cat 1 guy who takes off from behind me. And a couple more people start to chase, so I hop back on these guys' wheels. And, I mean, that's really it. it. From, from here on out, I'm pretty toasted. Uh, I'll let you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'm going to toss some music on because there's not much to hear. Like I said, it was extremely windy. Uh, I stick on this guy's wheel for a bit, and then I start to fall back, and eventually I do fall off the back of the group. Uh, team up with a couple guys who also fell off the back of the group just because the pace was so insanely high due to the confusion with the Cat 1s hopping into the race. And... Uh, I'll add in the little sprint here at the finish that I have with this Alvoy guy. Um, and I'll, I'll maybe toss in some commentary there too. So enjoy the video. I'll see you guys towards the end.
so this is where the uh, sprint starts to happen. Me and this guy are kind of talking. Uh, we have uh, two or three guys behind us on our wheel. I know this guy from previous races. He's pretty good sprinter. He's pretty strong. He's he spins up real quick and he can maintain for really long. Whereas for myself, I uh, I take a little bit longer to spin up. But once I am up, I can get huge, huge power numbers. Uh, that's just the kind of sprinter I am. And so I know that this guy behind me is going to take off as soon as we go around the corner. So I wait for him to go. I know that Alvoy is going to go. And what I should have done here is I should have hopped on Alvoy's wheel and just waited for him to really push it. But uh, I just was really antsy. I was really frustrated at the entire race. So I... I try to take off. Uh, another option I could have done was try to pinch Alvoy behind the other guy, uh, but instead we just end up straight up drag racing it. And as you can see in the video, I spend a lot of time worrying about where he is instead of just really putting my head down and hammering as hard as I could. Uh, he ends up nipping me at the line by about half a bike, maybe a full bike. I don't know, it looked closer when we were actually riding, so who knows. Uh, that was the race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.